Hey, I'm Charlie. And I'm Jed. This is our dog, Opie. And we live full-time in our 95 Chevy. So welcome to our official van tour. So if you're new to our channel, we've been traveling around the country. We've been posting new vlog every Wednesday and Sunday. So make sure... Make sure you subscribe because I promise you're gonna love us. Now let's get on with this tour. So a few of our favorite parts of the van are actually right up front. One of those being our door cards. So this was done just doing an ink transfer and it, when the doors are closed, it's just this beautiful sailor's map that we love and we get so many compliments on. One of the best parts that came with our van, which I highly recommend, are our blinds. So this really comes in handy during the day. If we're just hanging out and we just want a little bit of privacy, we still get a lot of sunlight through here and they just come right up. Now for, you know, nighttime parking lot situations, we have our blackouts. So they just snap and they roll and they magnet right to the frame. Over here, Modern Life is a Catastrophe is actually a quote from one of our favorite bands, Neck Deep. So we knew we wanted that as a step and just a welcome into our home. Literally in a van, every inch of space matters. So underneath the seat here, we keep a bunch of our shoes, like slippers and slides, and we usually keep like a pair or two out, and then the rest we have in storage. In the back pocket here is usually where we keep our trash. Uh, when the trash gets a little bit too full, we hang it over here on Opie's hook, where we keep his leash, a bungee cord, Sometimes it's harness or collar. All right, now let's go into the front. Now, while we did leave pretty much everything in the front as it came, we did make a few changes to just upgrade it a little bit. So it needed a new mirror, so we got that. We added a phone mount. Um, this is the original wood, but we did restain it. And then we did carve out the cup holders so that they could fit our big Yetis. Uh, this compartment over here, we have our hand sanitizer, some gum, like pretty basic things. We hang our masks on the, the driving stick. <laughs> I don't know what that's called, shifter. but the shifter. Uh, I always throw my scrunchies up here in the window. And then both of us, because we hike a lot uh, and we like to wear bandanas when we hike, we both have our stack of bandanas in the visor we have some sunglasses kind of all over um in here i keep like my chapstick i have a little phone pocket um over here because there's no there wasn't any compartment for me to put my phone while charlie's driving so he picked that up for me and yeah we left the as ugly as it is we left the original carpet because one it would have kind of been a pain to replace but it does just add to the whole just 90s vibe going on. Uh, we actually just switched out our rear lights, which you'll see soon, but with the extra lights that we had, we decided to add some lights up in the front here. Charlie found this really cool vintage lamp switch, so now we have lights in the front. One of the additions to our van was definitely adding a swivel seat and our swivel seat has character to say the least. So you'll see. <sighs> Gotta go. This is our swivel seat. Now we're gonna move into what is my favorite part of the van, our kitchen. 
So when we were designing our van, the best part is that you get to decide, you know, what's important for your lifestyle and your needs. For us, that meant having the most space in the kitchen. And because we're two people and a dog living in a very small van, we wanted space to walk around. We did not want to be like scooting by each other because we put like too much furniture. We wanted to feel open. So, all right, the kitchen. We have the standard van life sink here, 15 by 15 Ravati. Uh, we have, again, pretty standard faucet, swivels, our water pump. We turn on and off with this switch over here. The butcher block countertop, we actually made ourselves just using maple from Home Depot. And up here, we built this little shelf, which shockingly enough, nothing falls off of this shelf. Every once in a while, the tea just like takes a dive, but none of these spices or anything fall. So I have my eight you know, main spices up here. Salt, sugar, chia seeds, candles, and then some tea. On the counter in this basket, we keep, hold on, I know what you're thinking. You live in a van and you don't have a fruit hammock? I know, we'll probably be banned. But we have a basket, and this basket pretty much does not move on the counter. We actually put a sticky pad under it to prevent it from moving, and we found that it was making it tip over. So, we just have this, and it keeps put for all of our our counter produce. <laughs> That's not it. Okay, starting with our cabinets. In this cabinet, we actually just added these two little baskets for our towels, which is really helpful because we usually separate them by like clean, like drying towels and like dirtier like cleaning towels um, we have our hose for when we fill up water our cleaner is just velcroed on we have our mini broom on a little hook I have my pizza peel our dish soap and then for water we have two six gallon jugs and then we have a six gallon gray tank that's mounted underneath the van now for our drinking water we just kept it a little old school and got a Brita because we couldn't afford a fancy water filter. It fits right behind the chair and really no complaints. Now in this, this cabinet, this is my favorite cabinet. This is everything kitchen. So in the bottom here, we have a little container that holds our dishes, our bowl, my kitchen scale, some more bowls. Uh, makers, <laughs> some oil, and then a couple glasses on the bottom. Now, in the top one, we have our jet boil, oils, hot sauces, extra spices, more Yetis, and vinegars, oils, teas, extra stuff there. So, highly, highly recommend if you live in a van get yourself some sliding drawers we didn't really do this on purpose for like ease of van life i just wanted slide out pantry drawers i cannot imagine having a shelf here and like reaching in and knocking everything down like absolutely one of the smartest decisions we've made in this entire build when we were planning out our kitchen build i told charlie and i was like i want one drawer and i just want my knives laid out right in front with nothing else so that while I'm cooking, I can easily grab whatever knife that I need. Here we have exactly what I wanted. So in this drawer, in this front, we have these little bamboo inserts to organize a little better. Hold on. Okay, but in the front here, we have my knives, my favorite spatula, and then some utensils, wine sapper, measuring spoons, and then your household junk drawers in the back. Our scissors, my bench scraper, every kind of tape you can imagine because our solution is just tape it. Uh, we have some Velcro, super glue, reusable straws, a Tide stick, um, 
yeah, that's pretty much it. And those are all of our utensils. And that actually stays really organized, like all the time. Now, some, look how cute Bubby is. Look how cute he is. Okay. Another unconventional thing we did in our van build was we went with a 120 volt fridge. We checked it with some friends that are electricians and they said we would be fine, so we gave it a shot. We have not had any problems with this fridge as far as power goes, and it's huge. Like, this is such a good size fridge to have when you're feeding two people for every meal. So, on the outside, we have all of our magnets. We collect every time we travel somewhere. We do an okay job when it comes to the states, so we're missing a few. Now inside, we have our can dispenser on the door, which is usually filled with beer, salad dressings, um, Ithaca hummus, our corn rind cheese, our Kite Hill sour cream, all the good stuff, always loaded up. And we have a little mini freezer, which shockingly enough, actually keeps things pretty frozen. We always have emergency Dr. Prager burgers in there and some acai and our huge chocolate. As far as our storage goes, we knew that to have all of our walking space that was really important to us, it was gonna be under the bed. So we have a very large drawer that has a lot of stuff in it. So on the right side, we have all of our canned and dried goods. Back here, we have some grains and noodles and extra sauces. <clears throat> in the back, I have my flowers for making pizza dough and up front we have our snack bin which has all the goods we got banana purely elizabeth seven sundays i mean we always have good snacks in here in this bin right here we have i don't really know what to call this bin but we have our bees wrap wax we have our food huggers we have our hold on wait we have more yetis so we <laughs> Yetis, um, let's say my immersion blender, which is the only kitchen tool that I have in here. So I have the whisk attachment and the regular attachment for when we need to make salad dressings. Uh, in these bins, we have two bins stacked here. So underneath I have extras of soy curls, um, rye flour, wheat flour, like what I need to feed the yeast. Um, <clears throat> and then our stove so we went with a camp stove because we wanted the counter space to stay clean and open and we also like to cook outside so it's just our little propane stove that does have a divider because originally we were just throwing it in kind of would knock things down we don't always clean it after every meal so sometimes we get little crumbs or like burnt bits that falls so now it's just completely separated to this part of the drawer that we can vacuum out really easily instead of emptying this whole drawer. Okay. One of the things that we built for Opie that actually turned out to be really convenient was his... <laughs> yes, it's built really well. Um, his magnetic drop-down food bowls. So it just keeps it out of the way. We don't trip on it walking out of the van. And now they're gone. Under here we have our favorite speaker, our little Marshall speaker. And then uh, for my, my, my night table, I guess we'll call it, I have my wine and my books. And then I have a couple little journals right there. And that way I can drink myself to sleep while I read. I don't know. Okay. Now, moving along this way, we have our little drop down table, which was a tree trunk. We just chainsawed off and sanded down. And it's just so cute. I love the way it looks folded up and it is functional when it's folded down. Next to that, we have one of the best things that we use all the time, our portable light. Uh, because we intentionally left all of this frame from the conversion top exposed, we can magnet this anywhere we are in the van. So our bed is so comfortable. Isn't it, Bubba? 
We have a three inch memory foam mattress and a two inch memory foam mattress that are stacked on top of each other. And we just used, um, they don't really slide, but we use some of like the industrial Velcro to keep them together. We, this is a full size bed. I think we had to cut like an inch or two off of the side to have the mattresses fit. And we do have storage underneath the bed, but we'll show you that in a minute. Right now we're gonna go on top and see what we have in the cabinets. And the upper cabinets here, these were, these were such a pain to build. Uh, we don't have weight bearing walls or even straight up and down walls. So these were an effort. In this one, we have, we keep our toiletries in little travel pouches, some toilet paper, pee funnel, our potty pouch, game changer. And then on, I can't, ah! Okay, just need some tough love. But on this side, we have, so all of like my hair products and then our shower totes, we just have these for our truck stop showers. And I have a couple other toiletries shoved back there. Um, but that's it for those. On the walls here, we have a little cork board, um, some art that we were gifted in our travels and we just got our camera back, so starting to collect our Instax again. We always keep Obi's toys on the bed. We have a second blanket that gets folded underneath for either very cold weather or warmer weather when we don't sleep under the down comforter. All right, so now that we did the cabinets, back here we have another little wooden bin with a couple of Charlie's books and journals. Um, we have a little shelf over here. I did keep a plant there, but it died. So uh, we replaced it with a fan. Um, over here, around it actually, around the frame, I actually tucked in our little lights that go on with a switch back here. And now these chains. I know what you're thinking. What kind of kinky stuff are you guys into? Not the case at all. So we have these chains that come out over here and one that pulls down here because we wanted a fixed bed. We absolutely knew 100% we did not want to have to make our bed. We camped in our Subaru for a year before we built this and did not like that we had to blow up the mattress, put the sheets on, get the pillows. So absolutely a fixed bed, but ours turns into a couch. So here we go. I didn't know the pillows came in. Okay, you're gonna leave yours right there. And now we have the couch. It's kind of like a day bed, actually. I don't know if I'd call it a, I don't know if I'd call it a couch. Opie also literally would not move for me to fix the blanket. Where do we keep our clothes? So we have this huge overhead space because of the conversion top. So what we did was we insulated the top here and then just lined it with fabric to try and keep the temperature a little bit more stable. We keep all of our clothes in packing cubes, specifically ones with the handles because we're constantly pulling out and pushing back in our clothes. So all of our clothes fit here. On this side, we have our towels, our shower towels. Behind that, we have a towel for Opie when he's wet or dirty, sandy, whatever. Our outdoor mat we keep right next to the door so that we can open the door, pull it down, and unroll it. We also keep his extra food back there. And then on this side is where we keep our pots and pans. So. We just have a cast iron, a stainless, and a little sauce pot. So one really creative thing that we did um, based off of our van is there's actually a gap in between this overhead space and 
I guess what you would call like the ceiling here. There was a lot of electrical and stuff in between here um, because it had a built-in DVD player when we got this van. <laughs> so we decided to keep our blackout curtains in. Um, Charlie actually found this mop handle. So on this side, it has the part you would screw into a mop, which goes right into our frame. And then we roll the curtains up and then they just come down. So we like to keep them stored instead of push to the side because we think it keeps the van a little more spacious feeling and of course lets in all of the daylight that we could want. Opie, can you show me under the bed? You wanna show them under the bed? So now I'm gonna show you what we have under the bed because we have a lot of storage under the bed and it's easy to access because all you do. Oh, it's going. Move the dog. Ready, Hope? Whoa. We lift it up <laughs> and we have a little piece of wood that we put here to keep it open. So on this side we have our vacuum cleaner, some extra propane, some water filters. We keep our fire extinguisher over here because safety first, our Instax cameras, some of Jen's extra books. Uh, what else do we got? We have a lantern and some miscellaneous things on this side. And then moving over to this side, we have our jackets and winter clothes. <laughs> <This is me. laughs> He's so cute. Uh, on this side, we have our jackets and winter clothes. We have a beach blanket, extra shoes that we don't that we can't we don't have anywhere to put them out here. We have some Opie stuff. Keep some hats. Um, looks like a straightener or something like. Some kind of gens, I don't know. And uh, that's pretty much it. Winter clothes, shoes, hats, and a beach blanket. That's pretty much what's on the sides of the bed. And it comes down pretty easy. You ready? Good boy. All right, so let's move on to the trunk and we'll show you the battery and what we call our garage. Coming? Okay. So in the back of the van, we have our ladder to get on top. We don't ever really need it, but we have it if we do. Spare tire. And then entering our garage. So like it, we saw in the front, this lifts up. And we have these, these rings on this side and some carabiners to hold the bed up when we want to go into couch mode. So it looks like a mess, but it's an organized mess. We have two camping chairs, a table, our toilet, because when you gotta go, you gotta go. We also have our hiking boots underneath here. I have a basketball because I've played once so far. It's been pretty great. We have our yoga mats. Over here, we have a toolbox, because if anything breaks, you gotta be able to fix it. We have a little space heater for when we're in the winter. We have Jen's pizza oven, which if you haven't seen videos of us cooking in the pizza oven, this thing is awesome. So we have some charcoal, some wood. And then on this side, it's kind of maintenance and repair stuff. So we have some extra tubes, just in case anything breaks. Fix a flat, some waterproof spray, laundry detergent. And Jen is so ridiculous. This is a jug of New York water. So when she makes her dough, we still got that New York pizza dough. So, and then we just have some extra fluids like power steering fluid and um, coolant. So if we get to overheat or anything like that, it's always good to be prepared in case of an emergency. And then, so on this side is all of our electrical equipment. So we, are, we have a 200 amp hour AGM battery that is connected to two 100 watt solar panels. And we also have a battery isolator charger. So which that means is while we drive, it also charges our battery. So we're pretty good on electric. We have, so the battery powers, we have four LED lights. We have our max air fan. We have our fridge. We have the lights in the front of the cab and we also have two 120 volt outlets and it also powers our sink or our, our faucet pump. 
All right, so moving on to the door cards, we have a utility door card, I guess. Pretty much a net on our door card. We have bear mace, so when we're in bear country, we're protected. We have some ponjo, sunscreen, bug spray, headlamp, Obi harness for when we're hiking. Sorry, bud. All of our stickers of places we've been and stuff that we like. On this side, up here, we have a map and we've been pinning off everywhere that we've been. So that's been pretty cool. Hopefully we'll hit all 50 states soon. And if you watched our vlogs before, you know we like to drink beer. This is kind of a tribute to how much beer we like to drink. And shockingly enough, we have another Yeti accessory. A nice Yeti bottle opener. So the next thing I'd like to bring up is this beautiful machine right here. This is our Max Air Fan. This gives us the option to suck air out of the van, so we do a lot most of the time, especially when Jen is cooking, it gets all the smoke and stuff out. We can also blow it down, but we don't really use that so much. What we really love about our van is that we have, here, we have windows everywhere and almost all of them open. So it's really important for the fan when it's sucking out that it has windows so it can create a really good cross breeze. And with all these windows, it doesn't seem like we're living in a van or in a car because we get so much natural light in here. We hardly ever use our lights unless it's nighttime. So, and when we do use our lights, we have four cool toned LED lights in the front and two warm toned LED lights in the cab of the van. All right, so that's it for our van tour. If you have any questions or if we miss anything, just leave a comment down below. Also, if you liked anything in our van, everything's gonna be linked in the description. If you liked our van, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Even if you honestly just thought it was like mediocre, still give it a thumbs just up. Thumb up. Just, just give, give it a, a thumbs, thumbs up. up. If you want to help us along our adventure, maybe bump it up a little bit, jump on our Patreon. That really helps us out. And subscribe for next Wednesday. Yeah. See you guys on Wednesday.